now, Heartland Sports with Todd Richards. Hi again, everyone. It's on to the next level for Chaffee multi-sport star Levi McKinney. He signed on today to play his favorite sport, baseball, with Jefferson College. The Red Devils' ace led Chaffee to a third-place finish at State this past season, and now he gets to live out his dream, showcase for his family, for his fans, to play at the collegiate level. Jeffco, I mean... When I went there, met the staff, saw the facility and all that, I, was, I knew it was where I wanted to go. And I had a buddy go there a couple years ago, and I just felt like it was the best fit for me. Awesome to see all of his teammates. He saw his family. They can celebrate it together. And now they can watch Levi McKinney on the mound for Jeffco. Well, a volleyball state champion taking her game to the next level as well. I'm talking about Lady Hornet star Lexi Hoffman signing to play at Notre Dame College in South Euclid, Ohio. Hoffman, who played under her mom, head coach Aaron Hoffman at Advance, was key in leading the Lady Hornets to a Class 1 state volleyball championship. Congrats and good luck to Lexi Hoffman. High school hoops, Poplar Bluff playing St. Vincent. It's the Herbert Classic. This game being played in Crystal City, and Popper Bluff showing the good ball movement. Brendan Durden knocking down the good shot. Then Popper Bluff's Preston Moore says, you can make it, but you can miss it. That's good, too. And I can put it back. He gets the put back. You want to see some nice passing. The big guy, Torrance Williams, perfect. The bounce pass to Durden for two. And Popper Bluff just kept pouring it on. It was a good night for the Mules. They would go on and get the win, 88 to 53. Nice one over St. Vincent. Papa Bluff looking really strong early as we start to get a look at some of our high school basketball teams at this point of the season. Meanwhile, we talk about getting to know the high school teams. How about some of our college teams? The Murray State basketball team tipping off Missouri Valley Conference play at home against Bradley. Keep this in mind, Bradley undefeated heading into this game. But Murray showing them what they've got. Jacob Wood scoops it up, goes coast to coast, lays it in. 38-29 racers, he tied for team high 19 points. More movement inside, Rob Perry for two. Racers up by 10 at half, uh, he had 19. Brian Moore, the bucket, Murray State, they win the OVC opener 79-72. to That's the first loss on the season for the Braves. Well, some top honors being handed out tonight at the 78th annual Gridiron Banquet in Popper Bluff. Three finalists are in line for the Carr Trophy presented to the most outstanding player in the conference. Three finalists in alphabetical order, Jackson quarterback Adrian Fox threw for nearly 2,000 yards, 19 touchdowns. Fox also rushed for 500 yards and six scores. Scott City's Mark Panagas, last year's winner, also a finalist this year. The Rams quarterback threw for nearly 1,500 yards, 13 TDs, ran for another 900 yards and 15 scores. He was really, really good. And then the third finalist, Portageville running back Jamarion Smith, ran for 47 touchdowns. Smith was also outstanding on the defensive side of the ball, led Portageville with 11 sacks. I'll tell you who won the Carr Trophy, along with the Derlin Moore Award, given to the top defensive player tonight at 10.